Hey everyone, welcome you to my video. In today's video, we are going to discuss about one of the distance metrics. So I hope you would have come across many distance metrics, right? And as you know, many machine learning algorithms computes distance using these metrics. It can be a classification problem or clustering kind of problem, right? So you must have uh, come across many distance metric, right? Like Euclidean or Manhattan or Minkowski, right? So uh, each a different each distance matrix works in a different way, right? And if you see, it works for different kind of data as well. So if you see Euclidean distance, it can be used for continuous data, right? So we we are going to see uh, about Hamming distance today. So Hamming distance is basically used for categorical or uh, discrete data, okay? So how it calculates the distances, it takes a binary form of the data and it compares each bit. It compares each bit like, uh, you know, taking uh, uh, each bit of a two object, right? And uh, calculates the difference, okay? So I'll show you an example here. So let me uh, say there is a binary representation of two string. So let's say string one. Let's take string one as one one zero one zero zero one. So assume this is the binary representation of one string. And similarly, we have just for an example, I'm telling you this, okay? just to show how this Hamming distance works. So here we have binary representation of two set of string, okay? Now, uh, the Hamming distance for this would be, so it compares bit by bit. So first bit in the first string and first bit in the second string. So this is matching, right? This is same. And if you see the second bit, it's different. Third bit, it's different. Fourth bit is same, fifth bit is same, and sixth bit is again different. So if you see, three bits are different. So the Hamming distance for this would be two. Sorry, three, right? So this is how basically the Hamming distance is calculated. So let's see how to do that in Python. So uh, let me uh, take an example. So I'm going to have two set of data. Okay, so here I have two set of data. I'm going to calculate the Hamming distance using Python function, okay? So uh, we need to import this Hamming uh, function from SkyPy library. So let's import that. So in SkyPy library, we have spatial module. So in that we have distance submodule. So from here we need to import Hamming. And now let's call this function and let's pass the data which we wanted to compare or to take the distance, right? So if you simply call this Hamming function, this will give you the percentage of difference. You can even observe manually here. If you see first, the total elements are four, right? And uh, first two elements are similar. The second two elements are different. Right. So, uh, sorry. First, uh, yes. First two elements are same, right? And if you see the next two elements are different. So, fifty percentage of difference you can find here, right? So, when you call uh, when you call this function, you can see the percentage of difference between two objects, right? But if we wanted to calculate the exact Hamming distance, then we can simply multiply uh, this with the length of the array. I'll show you that. So this will give you the percentage, right, of difference. So with this, we need to multiply the uh, length of the array. So using length function, uh, I mean, a length of the uh, one set of data, right? So x, let's take. So you can see that two elements are differing right so you can see the hamming distance is two 
Yeah. So like this, you can take any two set of data and you can find the Hamming distance. So simply take Hamming function from Skype library, right? So if you simply call this Hamming function, this will give you the percentage of uh, you know, difference that you can see between two objects. And if you wanted to calculate the Hamming distance, then take the percentage and uh, multiply that with the length of the data. Okay, so this will give you the Hamming distance. Thank you.